What's up, friends? I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I was kidnapped by a mythical creature called Matthew, which, by the way, isn't true. I just made that up right now, but it doesn't matter because I am back now and I brought my crochet hook. Because if I don't crochet something every once in a while, then Matthew will come back and kidnap me again. So, um, let's do this today. Now, the only question is, what can we crochet? But don't worry, friends, I've already done some thinking and I came to the conclusion that I want to crochet flowers because I am innovative like that. But more specifically, flowers from my garden because during the the past two three weeks I've been working in our garden a lot to make it ready for well I don't think I can say spring because spring is already almost over but who are you the police I don't care anyways I bought a bunch of pretty flowers and then I thought it would be kind of cute to try to crochet them yes there's one small problem with that but we will get to that in a second first of all let's actually venture out to my garden and I'm going to take you with me and I'm probably going to talk very quietly because I don't want my neighbors to think I am insane all right, let's go look at some flowers. Okay, I set up base in my little greenhouse right here because I am very scared of filming in public, even though the public is just my garden right now. But, um... Yes, I am in my little house right here and this one makes me feel more comfortable even though it is full of mosquitoes and probably a lot of spiders. It's fine. Please don't mind me speaking so quietly. But I'm still scared that my neighbors will think I'm insane so I'm going to continue doing that right now. Okay, but I can show you some of the flowers from here. Right there. And we got some nice flowers over there. And um, over there is where the, uh, the little problem comes in because they all got eaten by slugs. When I had the idea for this video, the flowers all still looked very nice but then I couldn't film this video because I had some things going on and then when I should have been able to start filming the video I got sick and now it is raining so I kind of feel like the arts and crafts gods don't want me to film this video but I'm not going to be stopped by a few immortal creatures who do you think I am but it, it just means that we have less flowers than I thought I would have but we still get some cute ones and I have some more over there so I think we will make do so I'm just going to choose a few flowers now that I want to crochet and then we are going to go back inside and crochet them there even though it would be better to do it in the garden but it's wet and it's raining and there's my cat right there look hello she's inspecting the greenhouse are you satisfied yes I think so she approves you want to eat some olives that's a little olive tree right there oh okay well, maybe she doesn't approve. <laughs> Mind you, this little goblin is 18 years old. I think she forgets that sometimes. Yes? Okay. All right, let's go find some flowers and then let's try to crochet them. Okay, I found eight flowers in my garden that still look somehow alive and I have these colors and also these. They look like this because I had a little accident involving a backpack, this yarn and a not fully closed bottle of lemonade in said backpack. No further questions. I also have some orange and red in here because when I bought this yarn, I also still had some orange and red flowers alive. But now I don't. But if I'm successful with the others, the ones that I just found in the garden, then maybe we'll make some honorary orange and red flowers. Because they may be gone, but they are not forgotten. But first of all, let's do the, the ones that are alive. Also, if I'm successful with crocheting these flowers, then I will insert some little instructions so you can make some flowers too. Even though the, the pattern probably won't make much sense because I thought of it but we'll see okay flower number one let's start with this one I just realizing that there was a little fly on the flower when I took the picture it's a little friend I have a little bit of an idea but not really but like kind of now let's first of all how many flower petals are there one two three four five six seven okay that's a number, definitely. Let's try to come up with a way of crocheting this. I need to turn this light on because otherwise I can't see, but now my face is way too bright once again. Okay, we obviously need some yellow because this flower is yellow. Crazy thing. Let's start with a magical magic ring. Magic. 
and I have made a little ring, a riddle, a little, not a riddle. I didn't make a riddle, even though Matthew did give me a bunch of riddles while he held me captive, but that's fine. A little circle. I made a little magic ring with seven single crochets worked into it. And now I want to work the seven flower petals into the magic ring. How do the flower petals look? Okay, they kind of start out thin and then they, they get a little bit wider. So how are we, how are we going to make that happen? All right, so I tried a few things and uh, now I have a test object abomination, but I have gathered some ideas now and that means now I can try to make the real thing. And I decided that I want to do the middle part with this red because this flower is brown in the middle. I don't have brown, but I have this red. So attempt number two with some more ideas. Let's go. Flower number one. Looks very cute. I think this is a success. Flower one out of eight. A thumbs up. We did it. I will make a little pattern out of it and I will give it to you during the reveal. So stick around to the end. Yes. I also turned on my ceiling light, which uh, honestly, I kind of forgot that I have one because ever since I've adopted my little birdies, I never really used it because they fall asleep as soon as it gets dark. And when I would turn this light on, it's very bright and they would get confused. So I never use it. But now the sun is behind a very dark cloud and my room is very dark and I thought, wait a minute i have a ceiling light i can just turn that on so now i hope the lighting is better now but yeah this is flower number one right okay let's try to make another one flower number two I think it looks a little bit too symmetrical, but also I think it works. It's kind of cute. So flower number two. Wait, no, hold on. The magic ring got loose. It's on the loose. It escaped prison and now it's a wanted criminal. Hold on. Okay, that's better. A little bit symmetrical, but also fine, I think. Success. All right. Next up, these. They kind of have one big flower petal at the bottom and then four smaller ones at the top all right i'm once again going to start with a magic ring because the magic ring society pays me to use their crafts that's not true i don't get paid for making these videos yet maybe soon i don't know magical society of magical beasts and cryptids and goblins you want to sponsor me yeah but don't let matthew know he's out there i know he is I went to my horses real quick. So I know I've completely forgot what I was doing and or talking about, but um, how are you guys? I really hope you've been, you've all been well. I was watching Pokemon Journeys yesterday and there was this episode where Ash was training with Leon and they found a injured Rookidee and then Leon put a little band-aid on the Rookidee's wing and then it had little tears in its eyes. And I almost cried because of that. So that's where my mental state is at. But uh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. But when when little tiny small creatures get sad, then I also get sad. That's completely normal. Okay. Speaking of tiny little creatures, last week I found one of my favorite bugs in my mom's car. So that was nice. I don't know what they're called in English, but they're green and they have very long noses and I love them. They're very cute. So that was definitely the highlight of my week. I have such an exciting life. That's so crazy. Finding little bugs. That's what more do you want? Flower number three. How many did we make? Three. Yes. Flower number three. Okay. Let's do these tiny white ones next. And let's give ourselves a little time frame. Let's say five minutes. Whatever I've created in five minutes is what we're going with. Okay.
Oh no. Okay. Um, you heard nothing. That was definitely not the timer. Um, uh, uh, nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. Um, I'm done. I, I I did it. That was definitely on time. <laughs> Look at this one. Okay, maybe maybe it took me five minutes and 20 seconds, but once again, who are you? The police? I don't think so. Also, you aren't Matthew, the mythical creature, so it's fine. The 20 seconds, we don't talk about them. Here's the tiny flower. Flower number four. All right, those were kind of the easiest ones, I think. We got them right here. Now it's going to become a bit more complicated. And I also kind of forgot how to make these videos and how to be entertaining. So um, you want to see a, a talent of mine? Quick talent show break. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. That was my special talent. My friends and I bought these when we were still in school and I think we were probably very annoying. Next flower. Let's do this one. This one might be the end boss, so I'm going to make another one first. How about we try to make a rose? And for that, I actually do have an idea. I saw a video on Instagram where someone, it wasn't for a flower, but for something else, crocheted like a line and then they rolled it up. And I thought that maybe this could work for a rose too. So let's try that. And for that, I need my yarn that was definitely not drenched in lemonade. Okay, I found the start. That's the start. <laughs> I'll see myself out, don't worry. We gotta think. Now let's roll it up. Moment of truth. I have, I definitely think this isn't long enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> I would not call this a rose. I would call this a weird looking thing is what it is. I mean, with lots and lots of imagination, this might just be a rose. So I guess that one's a Next one. <laughs> Let's try to make these. Okay, sorry, I, I turned the camera off because I really, I really had no idea what I was doing. And um, now I've created this and I feel like this is, I think I accidentally created a new virus. I feel like I'm going to be patient zero or something. Okay, flower number seven, also a fail. Now we've got one more and that is this one. So let us uh, try to finish on a good note. Okay, flower number eight, last one. I'm once again going to start with a magic ring because I kind of think the magic ring actually granted me magical powers today because the ones I started with a magic ring are the only flowers that actually worked. So if some wizards are giving me magical powers, I am going to use these magical powers of said wizards. Okay, this turned out so much better than I thought it would. Like, it worked very well in my head and then I started and then I thought, okay, this is going to look like a garbage can. And then I continued and it actually kind of looks Okay, I don't exactly know what I did though, so I'm not sure, entirely sure I can turn this into a pattern, but <laughs> okay, okay, I'm honestly very surprised. So that would be flower number five that I crocheted. Out of eight, I managed to do five. That's nice. That's more than half. I have all the flowers right here. It is already time for the wonderful reveal.
I got my, um, I want to go to the stables later, but I don't have to go out before that. So there's no use in putting on some decent clothes outfit on. Um, you're welcome. I very much you hope, I, what? I very much hope, hope you enjoyed this video. I did, but I also hope that you enjoyed this. I feel like I say this every time now, but I once again feel like that there has been even more chaos and even less structure than usual. I feel like the level of chaos is just like a linear diagram going up forever on in to the abyss. Also, whenever I've taken like a little bit of a longer break from making these videos, I kind of forget how to make them. So, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> So, sorry for whatever this was, but I still hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the flowers. Hope you enjoy the little instructions and maybe you, you enjoy making them yourself. Yes. Go tell me in the comments which one's your favorite. <laughs> By the way, I have the next few videos planned, obviously, and I have some some more very nice crochet projects planned. There will also there will also be some some other ones, of course, but I like crocheting, you like crocheting, so I will deliver. Don't worry. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>